welcome back to Dr. Josefina's Way, and I'm Laura Gutridge. In today's lesson, we're talking about aging well. Yes. Um, and and I, I know that this has been a topic on your or something on your mind for quite a while because we've had these discussions before about what we're about to discuss, um, but this is the first time we're actually addressing it on a, you know a show lesson. Um, this is a typical. Um, uh, message, message that yeah. she would get, Dr. Josefina will receive on uh, social media. You have developed an amazing body. Uh, you're such a great inspiration. Um, but they have to add in for your age. Yes. And that's the part that, um, it, it, yeah. <laughs> Ow. That's Ow. Ow. <laughs> okay. So can you explain why this bothers you? Well, it bothers me, Laura, because it's the way I, when I read things like that, I read it as an excuse mm -hmm. that, oh, at your age. Well, age in my book, in my philosophy, in my belief system has nothing to do with being healthy, mm -hmm. with being in shape, f uh, with uh, taking responsibility for your body for taking responsibility to be the best person that you can be. Mm -hmm. So when people say, at your age, implies to me that we should be ugly, fat, sick, mm -hmm. medication, and all the destruction because of a number of years. Right. To me, it's an excuse, and to me, it's non-acceptable. Right. Age is not a handicap. No. And they make it sound like it's it's a handicap. And you, and at a certain age, you have to just you know, give up. In the towel. Yeah, give up. And you know, the one thing I I will, um, being the devil's advocate, um, admit is that it does get harder as we yes, get older. Yes, absolutely. Just like our vision gets worse. I mean, our bodies are starting to you know you know tell us something. Mm -hmm. And um, like I used to be able to eat anything I wanted. I didn't have to exercise, and I had a perfect body and health, and it's all there. Mm -hmm. Um. As I got older, oh, oh I got to start exercising. I got to start watching what I eat, and it does get worse. Exactly. And most people, um, they don't like that challenge. Exactly. So it is more of a challenge. Yeah, but what is your attitude? You take a proactive attitude. You don't mm -hmm. say, "Oh, now I'm 45. Now I'm gonna give up." Right. No, well, you, oh, I have to exercise more. Oh, I have to watch what I eat. Right. Oh, I have to rest now. Oh, mm -hmm. I cannot be spending all night partying and my body gets messed that, up. That is true. You know, so you mm -hmm. what, what happens? You take a proactive attitude towards your health. Yes, but, you know, and I, I think that, like, typically the, the message is, you know, because they're talking about inspiration. So they're typically coming from a younger person, right? And they, they... They see it as a compliment, though, because they're looking at it like, well, maybe they're not get taking their life into control yet, mm -hmm. and maybe they're letting themselves slack. Exactly. And not they don't look as good as you. No, they don't. And and th and they're letting it slack, but they're looking at like maybe, oh, there there's hope when I get older. But they don't. What they don't realize is that there is. If there's not hope now, there's definitely not going to be hope in the future. Exactly. Because it only gets harder <laughs> and you have to have if you don't have discipline now you're not gonna have it 10 years from now no if you don't have commitment and responsibility for yourself now what you how can you have it because those are mm -hmm. habits mm -hmm. those are lifestyle that's a lifestyle that you are take yes this is nothing that you improvise because you're going to a wedding because mm -hmm. people do this oh i'm going yeah. to a wedding so i have to lose 20 pounds right that's give true. me a break so the people that are saying this they should listen to their own voice of what they want with their lives and the health or whatever they want to achieve and start working on it now yeah and then one of the things they can't get my book that's everything right. vibrant and any age you find the ways to really take care of yourself right here on my book it's mm -hmm. very good yes um oh one thing i found interesting about um the lesson today is how you intertwined um kind of like your um your mental philosophy religion and you know your meditation type of Thing. And a lot of people probably think that it's nothing to do with any um, physical aspect of our lives, yes. but it does. You intertwine it 
And you have a routine. Yes. And I've always known you to have this routine of getting up way before the crack of dawn. Yes. We're like talking like 4 a.m. Yes. And um, and, and you, uh, that's your peaceful time. And that probably is. And so why do you find that so peaceful at that well, time in the morning? What I found is this. When you have a ritual, mm -hmm. first thing in the morning, you start your day with a positive action. Then what happened, in my experience, the whole day will be a successful day. Mm -hmm. Because you start your day from a point of view centeredness, yes. a point of view that you get up early in the morning, you do, in my case, you, I do my meditation, my prayer, I read the scriptures, then I go out, I, I walk for three miles, I jog back for three miles, I do my yoga, I jump in the ocean. So what happened, that moment and during those first two hours during the day mm -hmm. are going to determine how my whole day is going to be. Right. So it's a way for me to start my day with a positive actions, mm -hmm. something positive, instead of starting my day fighting with people and did did that, you know. Right. It's just, it just sent, it just, it just, I don't know, it's just a magical thing for me. Right. And that's a ritual. Mm -hmm. It's something that I do every single day. For me, it works magic. Right, it kind of like, you know, it, it makes everything kind of go what's the word? Yes. full circle for you. Absolutely, the mind, absolutely. Body, and you don't react to things that might happen during the day. You're not reacting to it. Right. You're responding to it because you started your day from a different perspective mm -hmm. of peacefulness. Yes. You know? You mentally are yes. prepared I, for the, the challenging physical part of exactly, your day. Exactly, exactly. Yes. And that makes perfect sense to me. Um, you know, I have, I have my morning ritual. Exactly. So it doesn't require um, that I leave and a jog and you know do all the things that you do. It's my relaxing time exactly. alone, though. Exactly. Drinking my coffee. Yes. Reading my newspaper. Exactly. Checking my emails. You know, just and then you know I. After that, after the second cup of coffee, then I'm ready to do more physical stuff. And that's your ritual. Mm -hmm. That's how you start your day. Yeah, and it's, it's been that way forever for exa me. Exactly. I, I remember back when I lived with my parents, it was it was still sort of that way. I would get up with them and have coffee with them. That was sort. I, I guess it's kind of something that I, I got from them because mm -hmm. they would do the same thing. We'd you know have yeah. our morning breakfast and coffee and just nice relaxing. I hate the hecticness of a morning. Absolutely, me too. I mean, I cannot. I mean, you mm -hmm. how? And you know, Laura, and to start the day with talking and stuff. You know, from the time you get up in the morning until probably nine o'clock, there's nothing to say. Right. There's nothing to say. Mm -hmm. The day is brand new. And then what happened, I remember years ago, this lady would say to me, I can I run in the morning with you. That was before my bodybuilding thing. Mm -hmm. I used to run 10 miles. And then like, this lady, oh, and then I said, sure, five o'clock in the morning. And she was chatting and chatting and chatting and chatting. And, I'm, and she's think, talking about things that happened two, three days ago. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, this is a brand new day. Nothing right. happened yet. Yes. Just shut up. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, I think a lot of people, they feel like there always has to be some chatting going on and the silence yes. for them is uncomfortable. Yeah. And that's, that's um, I think that's like a mental hang up. Um, because I know like if I'm driving in the car with Bobby, if we're traveling someplace, um, I don't feel a need to have a constant conversation with someone. You can just be at peace and look out the yes. window and, you know, read or something. I mean, you know, you don't have to constantly, but some people do feel that need to constantly chit chat. Exactly. And it does get Because they don't appreciate the wisdom in silence. silence. Yes. You know, like you can be, I can be with you and be, can, we can be saying nothing, but we're enjoying the company. Yes. You, you know what I mean? It's just so much mm -hmm. nicer. And it's, it's, it's a more natural Absolutely. way Absolutely. Um, but, you know, the real focus here is that um, aging is not, negative and society everybody wants to make it into something that's negative exactly uh, i think that the more older we become the better our lives become because we're more content with ourselves we know ourselves more um obviously you know if you work on it you can have a know, fabulous body, absolutely. Yes, I mean, it's not like we lose things exactly um, we lose it because we don't use it yes 
You know, yes, that's true. You know, it's, it's, and mm -hmm. technology right now is so awesome. I remember when I had my hip problem and I had my surgeries in my hip, mm -hmm. and it was fabulous. And I can run, I can do any, I can cross my legs. Mm -hmm. You know, because the technology is advanced, so you can do things that will keep you going forever, yes. for as long as you live. That is true. You know, you so know, it, I'm 54, and you know, I feel like, you know, I can do anything that I could do when I was in my 40s or 30s, but if I had stopped doing those exactly. things. Exactly, that's the key. You, yeah, you can't stop. You can't stop, that's the thing. You can't stop. No, you stop and then it's hard to get back up again, you know? That's why I don't, I don't stop. Yeah, we can't, we just gotta keep going. And, you know, and, and so mentally we have to, you know, keep ourselves thinking that age is not the obstacle here in you, our thoughts and our you, minds. You've got it, baby, because it's mental. It, it, it and is. And people will argue with us. No, it's not. I feel no. If you get into that point and you feel that way because you stop doing what you're supposed to do and you know eating and blah blah blah, all yes. that good stuff. And then you. But like it's to, again, you, my book. Oh yes, book. It, all those that want the inspiration. There you go. Yes, and um, you talk about and you've talked about, talked about this in the past too. Um, that you like to uh, recreate. Yes, every, absolutely. Every ten years, and I think ten years is a good, a good number to choose because sometimes it, you know it, if you do it every five years, that's just too close. But ten years is good, and you've had a couple of change. I I seen I've, I've known her for going on probably two decades. Yes, a long time. Um, yes, so I've seen the changes. When I first met Dr. Josefina. She was um, in, really into the yoga. Yes. And it, she didn't do any bodybuilding then. And uh, it was uh, a very spiritual, you know, yoga type of um, workout that you yes. did. Yes, yes. And then um, I think your reinvention of yourself was the bodybuilding. Yes. <laughs> and Which I think was really a good choice for you because obviously your, um, your body is, you know, equipped for all that. And um, it gave you the chance to get out there and compete with your peers, and that gives you a lot of motivation. Absolutely, because you know when you know you know you're going to go home with or without the trophy. You want to go home with the trophy. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I think that was a definitely a, a good choice for you. And then um, there was another one, another. Uh, now thing that I'm into my next ten years, and then I'm a writer. Okay, that's yes, that's it. That's it's the writing. Is it amazing? Mm -hmm. And now, Laura, imagine that when I turned 40, my attitude, my mental attitude was, I'm too old. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I'm 40. And when I started bodybuilding, I was 59 years old. Mm -hmm. Imagine when Steve Fister <laughs> asked me about bodybuilding and I said, I had no clue what that is. Is and that how you got into it? Yeah. And I said, he explained a little bit to me and I said, I don't know how to do that. He said, I train you. Mm -hmm. He got me. He started training me within six months. I did I did my first show first place. So you start something successfully, and I've been successful doing it for 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 the whole ten years, eleven yeah, years. Yeah. It's but been a while. The, the my point with that is, if you say no to opportunities that present itself, mm -hmm. you imagine all the experience that I will lost, and I will never be a bodybuilder. I will never be a writer. If I gave up when I was 40, or when he says to me, you, I train you, I say, oh no, I'm too old. Imagine, right. Right. imagine the potential that we all have. We give up. Yes, it's true. And, and I think, of course, you know, the reason most people give up is because you're, they're afraid. Yes. You're all afraid of failing. Nobody wants to fail, but you don't know unless you try. And the fear of challenging yourself. Yes. And because it's a challenge. And a change. Absolutely. People don't like change. Absolutely. You know, if you're happy and content with, you know, the way things are going, they think, why why upset that? Exactly. But then but that makes your life very dull. Absolutely. I mean, I had a time of my life. I love it. And to me, it's exciting the fact that you de you discover new things about you. Right. I would never guess that I would be a good writer. You know, right. I would never guess that I would be a good Or that good you would body. have such great uh, stage presence when Abs you are... After, yeah, um, and um, doing the competition. Yeah, the people adore me, you know, yeah. in the in the in the sport. I mean, everybody knows me, and, and because the way I present myself, and I have a ball. Right. And because you do, you do yourself the music. Right? Of course, I only you do. Just to put a little, you know, personality <laughs> in that. <laughs> 
But it's, it's, you know, it's just using age as an excuse mm, and yeah. really limiting your whole potential. Because the moment, the only time that you don't have any potential is when you're really dead. Right. You die, okay, it's over. Then it's over. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, it's not over. Keep reinventing yourself. Yes. You yes. know, because you never know. We have only, in that sense, I believe we have unlimited potential. We have to rediscover them. Mm -hmm. We have to, like you say, expose yourself. Don't be afraid of changes. Do you know, mm -hmm. okay, well, well, let me try. Imagine if I say no to a stiff sister. If I were to say no. Right. Imagine right. that. No way, That would have been a big mistake. We got, you got a man anyway, girl. Oh, do we? Oh, yes. Let me check my notes. <laughs> <laughs> there must be something we missed here. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, you talk about, you know, just the physical aspects of, you know, being healthy, good nutrition, yes. motion control, yes. daily exercise, sleeping well, you know, I, it's so important to get, what, eight hours, do you say? Uh, whatever you need. Mm -hmm. You know, some people do six, seven, eight. You know, mm -hmm. whatever, but you feel that you feel rejuvenated because sleeping is the key. That's when your your human growth hormone to segregate and yeah. you you build your muscles. You know, it's right. when you're resting. I was reading on the internet ways to um, sleep better um, and things to avoid. Uh -huh. And one of them was um, the laptop because the yes I guess the um, the uh, light from the laptop yes does something to In the, the brain. melatonin or something um, triggers our because our brains. You know, if, if you think about it, when we were um, uh, the ans our ancestors or whatever you want to say, everyone went to bed with the the night and the day. Exactly. Didn't have electricity. Exactly. So it got dark. Everyone went to bed. Exactly. That's how we were programmed. Yes. You know to be. Exactly. And now we have lights and computers. and cell phones and computers. <laughs> Life is a lot more complicated than it was for our ancestors. <laughs> but we need to take advantage of it all. Absolutely. Embrace life and, exactly. and make it happen. And enjoy it. And enjoy it. Love it. Okay, baby. I say pow. You say wow. All right. Pow. Wow. <laughs> I love you. I love you.